Uh, another evening in the shop. Nothing better than that. So this here is Lamplater Amber Ale from Trans Canada Brewing. Another local made right here in Winnipeg. 15 IBU, an easy drinking ale with deep red hue brewed using traditional UK malts, notes of caramel, raisin, and a hint of roast chocolate. Oh, that's all right. Very crisp, not too, uh, not too hoppy, which is good. I like it. Okay. Now the important part's done. Um, guess I should come up with a project. <laughs> Tear down stuff now. Aha! Let's see what's in there. Oh, I remember this. Let's, uh, yeah, that'll do. Anybody who was watching my videos like a year ago or more um, may remember this thing. Basically, it's um, Arduino, is it Pro Micro? That's the Pro Mini, yeah, Pro Micro, which is um, Leonardo ish family. Uh, it's not based on the AT Mega 328 family. This is the, what the hell is it? Uh, yeah, this is the AT Mega 32U, which among other things can do USB natively. Um, matter of fact, it's the same chip that's used for the USB interface on some versions of the Uno, um, as opposed to the, uh, the other ones which need their own USB chip. And I, Played with that a week or so ago. You can go back and look at that. Anyway, so I got that hooked up to an original NES controller. Just right now with just uh, wires stuck in the pins. And I actually did a video on this about a year ago. Um, I'll link it up there somewhere or well, down in the comments definitely and at the end. Um, and it's, it's fairly clever because it's kind of a serial uh, uh, a synchronous serial uh, communication coming out of here. There's a data line, a clock line, and a latch line, um, which I've got plugged into, where are they, pins two, three, and four by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah, so, why was I, oh right, I know what I was waiting on. Hey, teenager, you were supposed to code this thing like a year ago, weren't you? Yeah. Right. Get on that. I'll be back to you in a minute. So anyways, um, so while he's doing that, hopefully, um, I also was working on a little box for this. So I'll put the, the Arduino in there. It looks like I had sockets set up for it on there. And I actually made myself, where's one of these other Nintendo controllers? I made myself a hack together a little... A uh, receptacle here so I wouldn't have to cut the end off because I know if I do there's going to be some collector somewhere screaming at me for defiling a precious heirloom or something. So I just glued together some bits of styrene and punched some bits of 18 gauge wire through that have little woogles bent in them so that they make contact like that. So I will mount that in the end of the box kind of thusly and hopefully by the time I'm cutting and hacking with that uh, we'll see if uh, if the teenager in the cave upstairs has some code for me
there we go okay that's everything dry fit in there now um, so next I guess I'll pull this guy out and do a bit of soldering and throw some a fixation onto this one hmm what's the adhesive of choice five minute epoxy nah hot's not I guess I should quickly reverse engineer my pins here so that one up there is VCC this one here uh, what's that one there ground so then the Oh shit, where did that one go? That one went in between there. So where's my board gone? Ground, and then there's three in a row after it. So that's two, three, and four. So the blue one is next in. That goes to three. Uh, two goes to the next one. And that one probably goes to four set that aside for a moment while I get this ready to go it's not pretty none of this project is that's not the point of the exercise all right so I'm just gonna mechanically hold this guy on with the four corner pins it's not crucial because there is going to be solder onto some of the other pins that are actually doing some work, but I happen to, I'm fairly confident that the four corner pins aren't electrically needed for this project, so I'll just use them as anchors. I may add a few more later. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Gonna do a VCC. We'll start with that one. Now then, how am I gonna get in there? There we go, how does that look? Connected to the pin, connected to the pad. Snap that off, okay. Let's repeat with the ground and pins two, three, and four. Alright, let's see how that looks. Is there any shorts? No, it ain't pretty, but I don't think there's anything shorted there. Ew. Yeah, that'll do. That's not bad. And it didn't glue the connector in. That's even better. Alright. Just to finish that soldering up. And we just about ready to test it, I think. And the last one, pin four. All right. Now just slip the shrinky shrink down on there and get these things all nice and orderly. No, no, confidently, I'm not even testing this thing. I'm just putting it all together. I'm probably going to cry about that later. Of course, you can't even see what's going on. This is going to be great. Which way up does it go? That fits in there. Where's the lid? Ah. Uh oh <laughs> the lid won't fit on. <laughs> right. Just adjust that ever so slightly. There, now the lid will fit. And there we go. 
Now then, I'm going to stumble upstairs and uh, see if that software that I ordered is ready. Okay, um, I've still got the uh, my test sketch in here from way back. And it looks like it's throwing data at it. So I'll start pushing buttons, right, left, up, down, A, B, start. They all work. That's excellent. Woohoo! Okay, here is the new chunk of code fresh out of the code mine, aka my teenager's cave upstairs. So he what he's done is done these uh binary compares so the original uh, is still reading the controller which is using so this this from here up is all the original code um, hacked together which I stole partially from somewhere else and I can't remember go check the other video um, so basically I write the clock high do a I read the controller data I do a, I put the clock low, bang, high, low, high, low, high, low, through a loop seven times, boof, done. So that's that controller read function. So in the loop, calling that, uh, serial print, don't need that anymore, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Um, that's just from experimenting here, we have to comment it out. So there's the buttons in the binary that they throw onto my little shift in thing. So what he's got is... Uh, some looks like a some kind of a binary compare or something like that. I don't understand this code stuff, and you guys know this if you've been watching my channel. Um, you can explain to me how this works in the comments if you want, and I'm sure it's quick and dirty because he's never actually written anything in C before. He's more of a, a Java kind of a guy. Um, so um, the A button it sends a C to the keyboard. So, yeah, okay, so this thing is emulating a keyboard. It's pretending to be a keyboard. And basically, it's pushing the directional things at WASD, which is very standard for keyboard control games. Um, start button, select button, A and B button. Just sending different characters to the keyboard and releasing them again. So each button press, it just sends one button so I guess if you hold it or it sends a single key, key click so I guess if you hold it it just as the loop goes through it just keeps hammering those keys okay well let's let's compile it no error messages that's a good start upload compiling uploading why did it go boink uploading and done uploading right now let's go to actually no so the serial monitor is still doing what it was doing I guess we need uh uh, what do we need? Text or something here. Text editor. That'll do. So, up, W, D, right, D, down, S, left, A. A button is C, B button is V, start button, and select button. So if I push right a whole bunch of times. Ah! Wow, I guess I shouldn't be too hard on him. He did a good job with this thing. This is awesome. All right, now, I like it. Okay. I guess we need to play a game, don't we? Hang on. Okay, so I've got an emulator for an NES game, of course, and I've uh, found a ROM file. Don't ask where I ain't going to tell you, especially if you're a cop, don't ask. So let's get this emulator running here. That looks promising. No sound. Maybe that's because I'm recording. I don't know. Okay, start button. Start button again. Sound! Okay, into the game. Let's see how I go here. Oops. Yeah. Start button, they said. Select. Or A button. They're real. I don't know. This. <laughs> go, go, Mario. Jump on that thing. No, come on. This works! <laughs> I'm thrilled! What does the B button do? Nothing. Oh, this is grand! Okay, that sucks. But the controller works! This is excellent! Well... Well, I guess we know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening. Well, that was fun! 
for coming down here not really knowing what I'm going to do. I am more than pleased about this. And with the lid closed, that doesn't even look too shabby. I suppose I could put a sticker on there or something, but it's just a black box, but it does such wonderful things. I like it. Well, thanks for watching. I'm sure I, there, you're going to find some fault in the code, especially the part that I threw in there. Um, complaints are welcome down below. Um, or comments or compliments or, you know, whatever. If you want to donate to the beer fund, there's a Patreon thing to clicky on. that will be cool, but you know, don't feel obliged. I'm doing fine, as I'm sure you've noticed. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.